होम ऑटोमेशन इज गुड बट समाइम्स एम्बेरसिंग सो रिसेंट इवन गेस्ट विजिटेड माई फुल्ली ऑटोमेटेड इंटरनेट कंट्रोल स्टूडियो जस्ट टू एक्सपीरियंस लाइक हाउ द डिवाइस आर कंट्रोल विद एलेक्सा एंड विद द मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन बट वेन ही विजिटेड द स्टूडियो एट दैट पर्टिकुलर मोमेंट द इंटरनेट एट माई स्टूडियो वॉज नॉट वर्क इट वॉज डाउन I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. And well, I can control the appliances with the manual switches, but what about that guest who came with the expectation to see everything controlled with the mobile phone? That was really an embarrassing moment. But don't worry, we came with a very smart solution of this problem. So hey guys in this video we'll be making our own home automation project that not only work with wifi with internet but also work with the bluetooth application when there is no internet with your smartphone application so that's all we are going to make in this video so let's get started okay so for making this project you'll require a node mcu board a hc05 module well are you expecting esp32 well even i was expecting this project to be made using esp32 but It's kind of not possible with ESP32. Now, why it's not possible? That I will let you know at the end of the video. Just stay tuned and stick with the video. I'll definitely let you know the problem. Okay. So, uh, other than these two models, you'll also require some uh, uh, LEDs and resistors. Here, I'm showing the demo with the LEDs. But in case you want to uh, control the real appliances, you can connect the relays with it. Okay. So, you have to connect um, all the components in this manner. So that's all about the hardware part of the project. Now before jumping on to the coding part, I'll we need to configure two applications this time, one for Wi-Fi and one for Bluetooth. So for Wi-Fi I'm using the Blink application. So open up the Blink app on your smartphone, then click on new project to create a new one. Give a project name. I will name it as Wi-Fi Bluetooth Automation. Uh now uh, device type is uh, Node MCU in my case. Okay? And connection type is Wi-Fi. Just click on create project. So an authentication token will be sent to your registered email ID, uh, which will be requiring at the time of programming. So now just click on OK. And now tap on the screen and add a button here. Now tap on that button to configure it. Give a button name. Uh, I'll simply name it as uh, LED one. You can name it according to your choice. It doesn't matter. Then on the output pane, uh, select virtual and virtual pin V1. Uh, yes, we are using virtual pin instead of the digital one. It's just because we want to get the feedback of the Bluetooth application. to the blink application for that reason we are using the virtual pin now give the data uh, sorry uh, keep the data as 0 and 1 uh, that no need to change here and just change the mode as switch that's it about the configuration now click on okay so likewise you have to configure three more buttons so i'll just do it quickly okay so i have successfully added and configured all the four buttons on the blink app so that's all about the wifi application for this project uh, now we need to have one more application this time uh, for controlling the appliances using bluetooth so here is the android application that we developed in the mit app inventor so here is the design part looks like so first of all we have added the uh, connectivity as the bluetooth so this module is added the bluetooth client one and secondly we have added uh, uh, a clock from the sensor a block okay so clock is added just to uh, you know perform the timer related actions okay so this two are the non visible components added and in the visible components we have a list picker which we have chose from this user interface so here is the list picker used for this uh, bluetooth arrangement okay for getting the list of the bluetooth appliances and then we have added a label uh, here on the top as you can see if i click here here is the label highlighted so label is added to show the connectivity option like is it connected or not so for that purpose we have used the label so here we have added the buttons from this option and we have selected the horizontal attachment and we have added two buttons in the horizontal uh, line okay so one is the on and one is for off so this is all about the designer part now let's just have a look over the block section and see what happens uh, inside the application So first of all we have list picker be before connecting that means it will show the uh, list of all the bluetooth uh, devices which are already paired uh, with your smartphone and after that uh, after selecting on the particular bluetooth option it will automatically pair uh, get connected to that bluetooth client according to the address uh, stored in the uh, smartphone okay so this is all about the bluetooth connectivity So here as you can see we have eight different modules or eight different blocks for eight different buttons. So what we are sending the data let's have a look. So whenever the button 1 is pressed we are just sending a text called 1 for button 2 we are sending a text called 
for three we are sending three likewise for eight we are sending eight so okay so what happens is whenever on one button is pressed we are sending the data one whenever off one button is pressed we are sending the data two similarly for on two button we are sending the data three for on uh, off two button we are sending the data four and similarly the last button is for off four and we are sending the data eight so this is the sequence that we have decided uh, to send on the bluetooth client side it's totally up to you you can decide what data you want to send on the client side but after that you have to change the code for the node mcu or the client side as well so make sure you do that on both the side so this was all about the data sending method and on the right side we have one more block uh, which uh, checks the bluetooth connectivity so here it is a, a timer block it will check uh, uh, whether it is connected to the bluetooth if it is connected it will show uh, label as connected and the text color will be green and in case it gets it gets disconnected or not connected to the bluetooth client it will simply show not connected and the label uh, and the text color will be changing to red so this was the basic layout that we created uh, in the MIT app inverter but our team made it much more uh, like uh, good looking by adding some graphics like logo and uh, uh, below they have added a blue uh, YouTube icon for uh, heading on to my YouTube channel so they have added all these little things just to make that app looks more good okay so our final app looks something like this Okay, that was all about both the application that we are going to use for this project. Now we are left with the last thing of the project and that's the coding. <clears throat> okay, this is the code used for the project. So let's just go through the code line by line. First of all, an SI declaration of the library. So here you just need to include one library, uh, rather you need to install only one library that is the Blink library, which you can get it by going to sketch, include library and to manage libraries. Here just search for Blink. And click here to install blink library onto your arduino ide that's it click on close after that we have just declared the uh, leds here after that you need to provide the authentication token which must be sent to your register email id so just copy it and paste it here okay there's a space okay so after that you need to provide the SID name and password of your wi-fi router just to make this project talk to internet okay uh, and after that uh, uh, let's uh, jump on to the setup part of the code Okay, so here first of all we are declaring the LEDs as output, then we are beginning the serial monitor at the baud rate 9600 and after that we are establishing the communication with the Blink server using the Blink.Begin function. So setup part is pretty like easy to understand, right? Let's jump onto the loop part. So in the loop, the first function says Blink.Run. Now this function will be responsible for all the tasks performed under the Blink, okay? Uh, for example, if we are sending any data from any virtual pin, what it will do, uh, uh, for example, let's say we are uh, pressing the uh, LED1 button. That means the data will be received on virtual pin V1. So as soon as we send the data from the Blink application, this function will be called and it will the code will go inside uh, this function and uh, it will save the data coming from the blink application into the variable called pin value the data can be one the data can be zero it depends upon what we are sending from the blink app okay so the data will be saved here under the pin value variable and after that we are just turning on and off the led according to the data received that's it okay similarly uh like v2 v3 v4 like on every other pin we are performing the same task so that was all about how to control the appliances or leds using wi-fi now we are remaining with with how to control them using the Bluetooth. Now let's just go to the loop again. Okay. <clears throat> so here, as you can see, that if serial dot available now, the Bluetooth module is connected to the serial communication pin or the UART pin of the Node MCU board. Okay. So, so we're directly defining as if serial dot available. That means if any data is coming through the UART pin of the Node MCU board, then this condition will get satisfied. The board will go inside this if condition, and let's see what happens next. We have declared a character called data received, okay, and we are saving all the data that is received from the uh, serial uh, pins of the node MCU board directly to the data received variable. That means all the data that is coming from the uh, Bluetooth application will be saved in the data received variable. And after that, we are just comparing the data received uh, with our predefined data that we will be expecting from the application. So as we already seen on the Bluetooth application side, whenever we press the on one button, this one character will be sent. Whenever we press the off one button, the character two will be sent. Similarly, when we press on two button, the character three will be sent. 
or for on or for off to character four will send and like five six seven eight so likewise we are sending each a, a number according to the button pressed on the bluetooth application and here in the code we are just comparing the data okay for example if the data received is one we will be directly turning on the first led and well we do have one more function just below like the digital right and this function is about the blink so let's see what this function says so it says blink dot virtual right v1 comma one that means we are sending the feedback of the data coming from the bluetooth application to the blink application over internet okay so in case your internet is working what it will do any data coming from the bluetooth application it will directly uh, process all the uh, tasks that is written here like means turning on and off the led and after doing that it will send the feedback uh, status live to the blink application side so that's one feature we have added in this particular project okay so similarly if we receive the data two from the bluetooth side will be turning off the led and sending the feedback as zero on virtual pin v1 of the blink so similarly we are just turning on and off the leds or maybe relays according to data received from the bluetooth application and yeah that's all about the coding part so likewise we'll be able to control appliances uh, with internet via bluetooth and wi-fi and without internet using the bluetooth application so now no more embarrassing moments i think so so now let's just select the right board and port and hit the upload button okay so the code is successfully uploaded now let's just test this project in action so first of all the internet is already turned on so let's just test this project first with the blink application so yeah as expected we are able to control the uh, leds using the blink application uh, let's try with the bluetooth application now for that open up the smartphone and go to the bluetooth settings now under the bluetooth settings you first need to pair your smartphone with the hc05 bluetooth module after completely pairing it, just open up this app developed by our team. I will attach a link for this app as well in the description. Now inside this app, just tap on the Bluetooth icon and tap on your Bluetooth module. That's it. The application shows connected. That means we are successfully connected with the Bluetooth module. Now let's just try controlling the LEDs. Okay, so we are able to control the LEDs with the Bluetooth application as well. And we are also getting its live feedback on the Blink application. So with internet, this project is working pretty fine. Let us turn off the internet and now test it with the Bluetooth application. So yeah, this project is working without internet using the Bluetooth application as well. So yeah, we successfully made our own a Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth based home automation system. But now the question is why not MCU and why not ESP32? Initially, we tried to make this project using ESP32 only as everybody knows the ESP32 has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So why not to use ESP32 directly? Why to use these two different or separate modules? With the same thought, we tried making, we started making the project using the ESP32. It didn't work. It worked for a couple of, uh, not couple of times, maybe uh, one or two times, but uh, the code crashes in between. So we tried to search on different forums on internet, like we Google everywhere regarding the uh, this issue like uh, why we are not able to control the appliances via, via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi simultaneously. Some of them said uh, it works with ESP IDF. Some of them said it will never work as the antenna used for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, is same and uh, like sending and receiving data with two separate uh, protocols using the same antenna will create problems and it, it created problem in our case. Okay. Someone says it will work for a while, but uh, the code will ultimately crash because of like uh, both the protocols, uh, you know, using the same antenna. So yeah, things will get messed up if you use Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, simultaneously on ESP32. That what internet said. But this was not expected with ESP32 as it has Bluetooth plus Wi-Fi. So anyone like first thought will be, hey, why not to use both simultaneously? And well, if antenna is the problem, why not to use separate antennas on the ESP32 model? Why why they given us the same like uh, on PCB antenna, like single antenna? Why not two antennas? I'm really not sure uh, why ESP like makers did this. They should have provided different antennas in case we want to use uh, both the things, but they provided only one. Really don't know why. Let me know your thoughts regarding this. Like uh, single antenna is good for both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth or should they have provided uh, different antennas for both? And also let me know if you have ever tried making a Bluetooth plus Wi-Fi project in USB 3.2. Uh, were you succeeded in that or you faced any problem? Do let me know your feedback. I really want to hear from your side. What problem you faced? 
what suggestion you want to give to the makers of ESP, everything, just throw your thoughts in the comment section and I really love to like read all of your suggestions, okay? That's it about this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got to know a new concept from this video. And yeah, make sure you like this video if you really love the project, really love the concept. And yeah, that's it about this video. The subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me. Take SMS.